All right, so in this video, what we're going to do is actually we're going to use the distance formula and we're actually going to apply it. We're going to use something, you know, semi useful. We're given two points here P, negative 4, 4, and Q, negative 2, 3. And that represents a side of a square. And what we needed to be able to do is find the perimeter. So there's a couple things that we need to know to be able to approach a problem like this. The first thing is we need to know what a square is, right? Now, a square is going to have four equal sides. So therefore, if we can figure out what the distance is for one of these sides, all we simply got to do is multiply by four and we're going to go and get it, right? So we can say that the perimeter of my square is going to equal to four times the distance here of this PQ, all right? But so we got to figure out what PQ is. So therefore, we need to know what the distance formula is, right? So we're given two points. If we need to find the distance between two points, we have to know this distance formula. Now, a lot of times it might be, I, I don't know, students would like want to assume like, oh, we can go and plot this and count vertically and horizontal. Um, but I think this problem is going to be a little bit difficult because this side length is not going to be like a horizontal one where we could just count on our number line. But just to kind of like verify this, let's go ahead and double check and see what this looks like. So we have negative four, four, so that's going to be P. And then my Q is going to be negative two, three. Okay, so yeah, you can see, I don't know what this looks like, right? But it's going to look something like that. So it's going to be on this diagonal. But again, the point that I want you guys to make is again, we're just looking for this distance, right? This distance is going to be the same for all four of these sides. So as long as we can find the distance here of one side, then we're good, right? Which one are we going to find? Are we going, or which one's going to be x1 and y1? Which one's going to be x2 y2? It doesn't really matter, guys. I always just like to kind of go in order um, unless there is a reason for me to not go in order. Um, but in this case, I think just going in order is going to be perfectly fine. So now all I'm going to do is take these values and plug them into distance formula to find the distance of our value PQ. Okay, so you can see like I can make mistakes here as well. Like that's why I think it's really important to label these. Um, that's an X2, Mr. McLogan. So label them is really, really important. And I always think like the, for the second digit, it's also really helpful if you put them in parentheses. Um, I know I kind of mentioned that when I was first writing them down, I didn't like, I wasn't like strong, like you have to do it. But I think it's always helpful to do that. So we have the negative two minus negative four. And again, notice how many negatives we have here. We have three negatives, negative, negative, and negative, right? So if you put this negative four in parentheses, that's just very helpful to make sure you're keeping that accounting. This is a negative two minus a negative four, right? So that's gonna be that double negative that's going on. So therefore that's actually going to be a positive. So when you actually simplify this, that's now going to be a positive two quantity squared. And then over here, I'm actually substituting a positive four. So it's a negative three minus a positive four. Well, therefore that's just gonna give me a negative seven. And again, I always like to keep them in parentheses at this stage because again, I still like to have a mental check to be able to see like, oh, did I do my subtraction correctly, right? Because I can make mistakes. I made mistakes in a previous video and almost made, you know, mistakes here. So I think it's also important, especially if you're taking like a test or a quiz and you have to go and check your work, like show your work. So therefore you have something to go back and check on, right? That's why it's so important to like show your work, not just so your teacher can see where you made a mistake, which is actually very helpful as well. Um, so now let's go and fix this up. So my distance here is going to be, let's see, that's going to be four, that's going to be 49, so that's going to be the square root here of 53. But that is not your final answer, right? Because remember, it says the perimeter here is going to be four times the distance of PQ. So that's going to be four times the square root of 53. Now we have figured out the distance or the perimeter, I'm sorry, of our square. But in the next video, I'm going to give you three points. And what I want to do is be able to see, can you find the shortest leg between those three points? Well, that's coming up in the next video.